Oh, called a lot of guys. All right, here we go. It's on. <laughs> Salty dogs, welcome back to Star Maid on the Star Squadron server. My name is Lens Cap, and today we uh, are trying to resolve an issue. <laughs> I have uh, a problem. Um, so if we look in my inventory, 718 credits. That's a problem because I have this beautiful br blueprint. Uh, for the pickpocket class, which is my new salvager. Um, so I really wanted to start this episode by spawning it in and showing it off, and uh, I just, I can't. I'm broke. I'm broke. So we're going to try and fix that. Um, today, I've got the battleships with me. Uh, I don't have a lot of battleships, but uh, um, we're going to take the fleet that I do have currently. I've got one, like, fighter, really, and two of the sniper ships. Uh, we're going to take these three ships, and we're headed toward this sector. Um, this sector is two sectors away from a pirate station, Ida? Ida? Uh, and uh, my, my goal is to lure some pirates out so we can kill them, and then uh, fly around and collect their loot cloud. So the, the plan is, one, find pirates. Two... Kill pirates. Three, fly around aimlessly until we find loot <laughs> from the dead pirates. And uh, and then hopefully we can profit and spawn in the salvaging ship. It's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, but I guess you guys will be the judge of that. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I will see you when there are pirates abound. All right, here we are, two sectors away, uh, assembling the fleet. God, these fleets are so dumb. <laughs> uh, assembling the fleet uh, so that we can... What What are they doing? What are these ships even doing? They're supposed to be idling in formation, and they're just kind of being weird. I don't... I don't even know. Come on, guys. If you guys can't even get into formation, how do you expect us to take out these pirates? I have no idea what they anticipate. I don't think they do, because they're just dumb robots. Okay, but anyway, whatever. Let's just move on. The station is this way, so we're just going to fly over to it, and uh, and these guys will come with me, and I think I'm going to take manual control of the, the Momentary Reflection is the name of the ship we're in. So I think I'm going to take manual control of it, and uh, then those two clowns can just kind of do as they do uh, while we defend. Um, I'll probably do... In, in the sector we're in, or maybe the next one, I'll probably do defend sector. And uh, if we need to call off, you know, for any reason, if we start taking too much damage, then uh, uh, then we then we can call off and retreat back to the salty shipyard. So there's supposed to be a pirate station here. Uh... It shows on the map, Pirate Station, but all I see is this little square. What are those guys up to? It doesn't matter. All I see is this square platform. Uh, this is not a Pirate Station. Not any Pirate Station I've ever seen. Weird. If we look on the nearby, let's see, make sure. Let's turn on space stations. Yeah, target it. I mean, that's it. What the heck? It's just a. Uh... Oh! What if we shoot it? What if we shoot it? Let's lock on and fire. Will it call pirates? Actually, this could work out in our favor. If we can get it to uh, to call some pirates. It missed. <laughs> the missiles missed. I can't believe that. And look at these derps just kind of being derps. <laughs> okay, bam. 
There we go. Okay. It did call for pirates. Let's see if we get any. I'm going to keep blasting this little platform until we get some... Uh... Oh, there we go. Cool. It did call some guys. Oh, it called a lot of guys. All right. Here we go. It's on. Okay, so after a few days and some pirate hunting, uh, we had a pretty fun live stream uh, yesterday. Uh, I probably can release this today. So it was yesterday, and um, we had a good time uh, fighting pirates. All we did was fly around for like an hour and a half, uh, maybe two hours or something, and killed a bunch of pirates. And uh, we ended up with... Boom, 115 million credits. So we went from 700 credits to 115 this episode. It took me about a week uh, to do it. Um, but anyway, now we need to fill out this blueprint uh, for the pickpocket class. So what I'm going to do is fly around from shop to shop. And uh, we probably will go back to the spawn um, uh, system. Yeah, this this system because look at all these shops holy crap <laughs> so we're probably gonna uh fly around this system collecting materials at this shop shop system that thing all right so there were a couple of things that uh for whatever reason uh, i couldn't buy in shops so let's go ahead and i went ahead and produce them so now we can add all of these, and we should be able to spawn in our new ship, the pickpocket class. Are you guys excited? I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is a pretty cool ship. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. And I decided on a name. I'm going to call it the Crossbones. So that kind of suits with our theme. So there's the Crossbones. Let's take a look at it. Um, let's see, where is it? So let's target this thing so we can get an idea. All right, so there it is. As you can see, uh, in the top left, it has 178,000 shields, which may be a little excessive for a salvager. Uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it definitely, uh, it is a salvager, so... Oh, there's a little peek of it there through the window. The suspense is killing you guys. I know it is. It's killing me, too. This is a pretty sweet ship. Um... Okay, so let's take a look. We've got some drones on it. So now there is uh, one thing. There's the ship from here. So we'll take a good look at it uh, soon enough. Um, so we're not going to be able to test it today, unfortunately. Uh, w it's not like a time restraint or anything. Uh, right now, StarMade has a bug, and we touched on this in uh, the live stream I did um, in which we... Um, fought pirates, uh, which is not available as an archive because it had the IP address for our server in it. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, there's a bug in StarMade currently where uh, asteroids are like spawning inside of each other or something. I assume that's what it is. Um, but uh, but a lot of servers are crashing because of it. So if you load into one of the one of the sectors where uh, the asteroids are bugged out, then uh, the entire server will crash. Uh, we've got a couple of members on our server um, who can't play at all right now uh, because of that. So very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. Um, fortunately for me, I'm not one of those people, so I'm able to play this still. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like Fuse can't play at all. Uh, he can't play at all. Um, Top Ace is having some trouble as well. Um, but uh, we're far enough away from asteroids at our station that we can't, uh, that we're not affected. Oh, it looks like the assumptions took some damage somehow. Hmm, maybe it flew too close to a star or something. I don't know. But anyway, here is the crossbones. So this ship, uh, I'm very proud of this one. This is the most pirate-feeling ship of any of the ships I've made so far. Um, and it really embodies the philosophy I was going with when I started this fleet. So the idea was, uh, for this entire fleet, was I wanted to look like junk. Like it was just kind of thrown together and, uh, and pieced together from different ships. And uh, I feel like this one does that. Let's hop in it and take a look. Now the first thing you might notice if you've been following my channel... Um, is that this interior looks familiar, and that's because it is. Uh, I took a shuttle, one of the shuttle, uh, one of these things, the... What were they called? 
Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, I took one of the shuttles and uh, just chopped it up and then built off of that. We're going to fly around in build mode and take a look at some of the features um, of the ship real quick. So, um, yeah, it feels like it's pieced together, though. It's held together with struts and girders and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, it is a salvager, so uh, it's not really it's not really heavily armed, uh, but it has a ton of turrets on it. So there are two, four, six anti-missile cannons on the top, and four further anti-missile cannons on the bottom. So a total of ten anti-missile cannons. Um, ain't no pirates gonna attack this thing. There are six, seven, eight, uh, six total. Is it six? There are six, yeah, of these turrets. So it does have firepower. They're all AI controlled, though. Uh, there are no weapons built into the ship otherwise, um, which is neat. Uh, I think, I think it's neat. Um, it's a salvager primarily, so uh, I figured the turrets are more of a defensive thing. Um, there are eight drones. Um, we can, let's go ahead and... Let's see, let's go ahead and create a fleet for this. And we'll call this the crossbones. Uh, we'll just, let's call it, let's call it X bones. We'll put a hyphen. Yeah, there we go. The X bones fleet, this is the mining fleet. Let's add the crossbones to it. And we can hop into flight mode and launch the drones so that we can add those as well. And now we can order and carry a recall and they should all return to their designated spots. Yeah, check that out. So we've got all of our uh, all of our drones now in the fleet and we can have the fleet go and like we can tell it to mine a sector or whatever. Um, so, what else have we got here? This mining cannon is 50 blocks long. Uh, it is in two sections of 25. It is a uh, salvager cannon, so we can mine uh, forever with this. We do have a radar jammer and a jump drive. Um, two rail dockers. The dockers are here and on the other side, respectively. Um, we have... So we can, with a push of a button, we can pull uh, cargo from the drones into the cargo bay, um, which currently the cargo bay has no pod attached, but there is a place to mount a pod. So we can get a pod and, uh, and put it in here. Um, I just kind of stacked up the cargo here. Um, that button turns, basically toggles the auto pull of this cargo, uh, cargo block whatever it's called storage block and um so it will um load the cargo from the drones into these cargo spaces here um this is also linked to our salvage gun so when we salvage with the big ship it loads into this as well and then uh, if we turn this off um it is also linked to this block or should be yeah and that will um, allow us to auto pull from the cargo pod as well. So the pod can pull um, storage from the ship. Um, so we can use the cargo pod as our, as our primary storage until it's full, um, if we decide to do that. Um, this button will launch the pod, the cargo pod, um, as well as the forklift that uh, is included with this ship. So there is a forklift. This uh, this is built to fit in the space of cargo pod. So we could hold a second cargo pod instead uh, if we chose to. Um, so that's neat. But uh, but there is a forklift as well um, in this. So we can launch that. Let's do it. Let's go grab that cargo pod and load it in real quick. Um, let's tour the ship first though. So uh, so we've got the cargo system as such. We've got the thruster system as such. Um, let's look at some detailing that I am proud of. Uh, I found these girders that I didn't know were a thing, <laughs> uh, until this ship. So we put the girders in, uh, I use those in a lot of places. They look really good. Um, kind of here and here. I like that there are some exposed systems all over. 
Uh, of course, we've got the skull logos in a couple places, but I like that they're exposed systems all over. Um, it really adds to the junk fleet feel um, of, the, uh, of the entire thing. There's some animation with the power blocks going on. Um, we've got the blue intakes or hydrogen collectors or whatever you want to call them here. Uh, they're very large, but I think this is cool too. This kind of same style as the engines. So I think that looks good, and it definitely feels like an intake that way. Um, for thrusters, we have five thrusters. Look at that thruster pattern. That's cool looking. Um, I think it's cool looking. And then, of course, the crossed sails, the X-shaped sails. Um, they are different sizes, so this one's bigger than this one, but they're still big sails. And, uh, but I think that turned out really, really neat. Um, all in all, I think this is one of my favorite ships that I've built so far. Every, uh, every ship, every ship, uh, best the previous one. So I like that. Um, we're going to have to, so we're trying to get a fleet together for the fight that we're having, um, at the end of the summer. We'll probably do that. Um, we don't have a date set, but we're thinking like early September, uh, late, op late August, maybe. So maybe the end of this month even. Uh, so we kind of get, uh, got to get some things underway. But I think for our final makeup of our fleet, we're going to have this guy, um, which is a salvager, but this is what I'm going to fly in just because it looks so cool. Um, we'll have two of these, the Bedlam class. I think two um, would be good. We might go for four if I can manage, but I, I definitely can do two. Um, and then I think we'll go for four of these. They are the, I don't remember the name of the classes off the top of my head, but uh, we'll probably go for four of these ships, uh, two of these ships, and, uh, and then the crossbones. Um, I think that's going to be about the size of the fleet we end up with. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and, oh, we can uh, launch. So if we do the eject pod, that will launch our, um, that thing, <laughs> forklift as well. Uh, one... Oh, I'm still in gravity. Let's let's turn off the gravity real quick. One um one other feature that I want to point out. Uh, of course, we've got the automatic cargo. We've got the forklift integrated. Uh, it shoots out pretty far though, so I'm I'm not sure if I like that. Um, these cargo pods. So right now it's set to eject the pod, um, and you can tell there's a red light in here and in the forklift bay as well uh, is illuminated with red. That means uh, that it cannot accept a pod. But if we hit this button, this is linked to the same activation module as uh, we just hit. Um, that turns on yellow lights inside. So we know that if there are yellow lights and uh, in here as well, then we, can, uh, then we can accept a cargo pod. So we're gonna have to float way down here. Let's see if I have any ship cores. I don't think I do actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some ship cores. That's a problem. Uh, but we'll float way down here and grab the forklift so we can load a cargo pod in. Yeah, it might be worthwhile to implement something that maybe limits the distance of this forklift because that's far uh, that I had to fly out um, to get into this thing. Another option is maybe have a wireless controller somehow uh, built in so we can launch the forklift from within the forklift. That could be useful. Um, and then we don't really have to worry about flying away because we're already in uh, the forklift. So the first thing I want to do, though, is shut the door under me. You can't really do that once you're in the court. Okay. So this um, this forklift, if, uh, if you've never seen it, uh, there is a video on it um, elsewhere on my channel. Um, but it is designed to fit in the same storage space as the cargo pods that it... Uh, that it collects. Um, its job is to be able to grab and move cargo pods. So we want to be able to do that. Um, it is an automatic, it has automatic uh, features. Let's see. We want to grab this side. Uh, now we're upside down, so we need to spin around like this. Um, we should be able to just move in and grab it there we go so now we've grabbed it you can see the arms as well uh enclose on the pod if we release the pod then the arms kind of let go so they're a little bit bigger 
Um, so there's room to actually grab the grab the cargo pod. Now the easiest way to fly this thing I found is if you hit C and then release your camera uh, with double shift or whatever, um, then uh, kind of fly it from like a third person perspective. Now you can't really aim the um, you can't like like tilt and uh, and twist and stuff this. Um, this way, but we just go back into our regular view and zoom out backwards for that. So you kind of got to zoom out like this. Okay, now we have aligned ourselves with the underbelly of the crossbones. So now we can go back to our shift. And we want to get this uh, docking point, uh, this right here, um, lined up with the pink docking point for the uh, for where the pod goes so let's slow our roll here uh, we need to move this way slightly and then come up slowly we don't want to go too fast because we don't want to overshoot and bump things okay so let's get it lined up a little nice so that's lined up pretty well we can move back slightly and then up a little bit more so now when we pod release it went ahead and caught. Now we're trapped too, though, so that's kind of a problem. Um, I think in the future, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, uh, it'll let go of us after it lags out, maybe. Okay, I think we're we're let go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> All right, so from now on, uh, release the pods from upside down. Got it, got it. Learned our lesson for sure. Let's go ahead and find the crossbones again. There she is. Wow, she's moving at a rapid clip. Okay, but we need to dock ourselves as well. Uh, we can't until it slows down. Let's see. As long as it's going away from the sun, it is. So it'll slow down eventually. And stop. Okay, well, let's wait for it to stop, and then uh, and then we'll dock this. I'll show you how to how to dock the uh, the forklift as well. Okay, it stopped moving. So this is uh this is pretty straightforward. Also, um, and I believe let's see, I think I have it facing the front of the ship, but it'll turn us around if it's not. So if we approach from the rear of the ship, uh, we can kind of align ourselves as such. And then we want to zoom out and look straight down, or as straight down as we can. So that is probably good. Okay, now we'll let go of our camera. We want to make sure we uh, retract our arms. And then basically we just fly upwards like this um, until we're in the right position. Now it's up relative to our ship, but it's forward relative to the crossbones, so it's a little bit confusing. Um, if we have our docker targeted, uh, or selected in our hotbar, then we can see our target, which is that pink, uh, square there. Whoops. And then we just need to reverse, and there we go, so it grabbed us. And now that'll pull us into the bay, and, uh, now we're all loaded up. We've got a pod, um, loaded in uh, with a little bit of wonkiness, but we did it, and uh, <laughs> and we've got the forklift loaded in as well. Let's go ahead and hop out of this thing and align ourselves to the crossbones. And there's our new ship. I'm uh, I'm pleased with this one. I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to actually test the mining capabilities of this thing, um, but again, uh, due to a bug in StarMade right now, we're not actually able to do that. Um, I mean, I guess we could test the mining. We just um, shouldn't because <laughs> it'll probably crash the server. Um, camera angles. I guess I should, could show you the camera angles. This is the view from the cockpit, and then there is a uh, there's a camera out in the front here, so we can kind of um, see our mining beams a little bit more easily. But I, I generally just use this view. Um, I like this view pretty well. I don't have any crazy views like on the Bedlam class. That's what it's called, Bedlam. Okay, on the Bedlam class, which is the fighter, um, I've got some neat and uh, interestingly placed um, cameras. So maybe we put a camera here. Could be a cool, cool view or something. Something like this. I don't know. 
Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you hit that like button and uh, stay tuned for more. I will see you in the next episode. Uh, probably next time we're going to fight some pirates again, uh, but I think we'll do it together instead of in a separate live stream. We may, we may do both. Um, I like the grindy kind of live streaming situation. That worked out pretty well. Um, and if the server stands, I'll be able to post the live stream on my channel next time instead of just holding it on my channel. So, um, But uh, yeah, next time I think we'll fight some pirates and so that we can get some more loot into the hub pub. That'd be nice. And, uh, but anyway, I guess I'll see you guys then. Stay tuned.